we want to thank you uh, for joining us today. It's been a great expo. And uh, I'm going to talk about EdgeMax. And so I will go ahead and flip right into, right into EdgeMax. My name is John Hughes. I work for the Bose Corporation. I have worked for the Bose Corporation for nearly nine years. And uh, I want to thank you for joining the presentation today. We're going to talk a little bit about a new technology. And it's a loudspeaker technology. And so uh, I'm going to talk about background speakers, uh, voice lift speakers. And, and generally, when we're talking about those things, um, there are several things of, of, of consideration. We're talking about coverage, and we're talking about aesthetics. And most people, most designers of sound systems, if I asked them, what, if I had a small room, what's the best sound? You put a screen up, what's going to be the best sound, the best coverage for that space? Most people would say two surface mount loudspeakers on either side of the screen. Best, best dispersion, best sound quality, that's generally what they would say. The problem is you get architects involved and they say, oh, okay, well, let, let's talk about that a little bit. So but before we do that, this is, this is kind of, okay, here's that room. And we've, we say, well, let's do two surface mount loudspeakers because we think that's what's going to be best in that space. And, um, and again, these are two-way loudspeakers, kind of, kind of simple. So in comes the architect. And what does he say? Can it be painted? Can we build it into the wall, into the ceiling? Can some, can we, how can we hide it? Can you make it invisible? Okay, can we just not have speakers? That's, I think that's what they would really like. Um, is there something smaller? So these are, this is some of the challenge of aesthetics of the surface mount loudspeaker. So you could change to a flush mount ceiling mounted design, but achieving the desired coverage of that same space generally requires more loudspeakers uh, to ach achieve the same level of performance. So on the other side of that, you also need to work around many of the room elements that get designed into these. I mean, we've got a rainforest coming down from the ceiling on this lower, you know, lower right portion of the slide. You've got, you know, beautiful wood, I mean, who's, no one's going to let you drill anything into any of that space up there with a beautiful you know, wood facade. Where do you put the loudspeakers? You know, it's a really beautiful space, but, you, you know, and in some cases, like bottom left, I like to call that ceiling acne, where you've got lights, and you've got vents, and you've got sprinklers, and, you know, everything but the loudspeakers or space for the loudspeakers to do the voice lift for the room that you were trying to design for your customers. So imagine if it were possible to achieve the coverage and performance of a surface mount loudspeaker using something that is flush mount um, and improve upon the aesthetics of the traditional in-ceiling system designed using an in-ceiling loudspeaker. Of course, drum roll please. We would like to introduce EdgeMax and EdgeMax if you had a chance today, we've, we've got it playing over down in the booth. You, you, you may listen to it. Um, so EdgeMax in-ceiling premium loudspeakers from Bose. It's a revolutionary new type of loudspeaker, uh, and it uses Bose proprietary phase guide technology, which delivers room-filling coverage while improving the overall sound quality compared to conventional ceiling speakers. So we'll talk a little bit about it. It's a two-way system. It has a passive crossover. There's an eight-inch woofer. There's a phase guide, and that's obviously the secret, some of the secret sauce that we're going to talk about. Uh, again, that's a new way of dispersing sound uh, in, into the room. Um, a tuned port and a compression driver. And the, the key is it's a true compression driver. It's not a silk dome tweeter. It, it is a true compression driver that can deliver high performance. And so, designed to be installed along the perimeter of the room, thus we call it EdgeMax, EdgeMax loudspeakers take advantage of boundary loading to provide extended bass impact. So, again, you get a loudspeaker close to the wall, you're going to increase the bass response of it. Put it into a corner, even more, another three decibels. 
So we'll take a, like a, this is kind of a top view of horizontal coverage. There are, there are initially there are two versions that are gonna be available with EdgeMax. And what you're seeing here is the 90 degree version. And the 90 degree version, because of how it, it, it's actually angled in the box, is geared towards corners. So if I wanna do a left and right, a lot of times I will do left and right with the corners. And with that, I can stay away from all the, the fun stuff that we saw in the middle of the room and the architects designing into those spaces. We, we can take that, the, the, the outer portion of the room and still make it sound very good. And 180 degrees for the longer walls, or for the flat walls. And this could be a small room. Again, this is a 30 by 60, and I'm doing maybe six loudspeakers, and that's premium. I can get away probably doing four with standard coverage. If I wanted to do that with our in-ceiling loudspeakers that we've got, the conical, it would take quite a few more loudspeakers. And so, again, it's a, it's a little, little difference. It could be cost savings, not only with loudspeakers, but with the labor as well. So the revolutionary new phase guide technology provides an, an effective asymmetrical vertical coverage pattern of 75 degrees. This new to the industry technology developed by Bose truly delivers surface mount coverage performance from an in-ceiling mounted location. So again, again, the loudspeaker is gonna obviously point straight down, that's zero. So minus 75 degrees up from zero is, is, is the coverage that we're gonna get. So it works really well with these planar microphones that, uh, that your companies are, are using to, to put in the ceiling, you know, with the Dante microphones, uh, et cetera. So let's talk a little bit about directivity control. This is, this is new technology. And so you're, you've seen horns before in loudspeakers. So we've seen horns. This is a larger waveguide from our room match product. Um, you see the phase guide over there. It looks a little different. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's slightly different. So horn, that's something we're used to. Waveguides, you've seen a lot of different types of um, high performance loudspeakers. There are other ways of actually directing sound, directing, steering the sound. So we have arrays, we have steerable arrays where there, there are columns where we're actually aiming sound and throwing it further than a standard loudspeaker. Bass arrays that allow us to actually steer bass frequencies um, towards the audience. So none of these things that I've showed you though, with the horns and all of that, except for the phase guide, have been, ever been able to be installed in a ceiling, in a flush mount design. So that's what's unique uh, about the EdgeMax. Okay, so, oh, I went through that too fast. Boom, sorry about that. So these, and then this is, I guess, is how it's programmed. So these were initial prototypes of the phase guide. And they disappeared just about as quickly. So <laughs> one more shot at that. Um, and so this is the phase guide. And there's, a, uh, there's an animation I'm going to talk through that, that kind of shows you about what, what that does. So let's talk about the phase guide behavior. So you see the compression driver right here, there are regular spaced openings, and you saw that in the fan, that there are regular spaced openings. We can change where those are. And obviously the compression driver is shooting the sound out through the slots, okay? So it can be optimized to create a desired radiation pattern. And so we also, so, and you can see it at, at the booth, there's a resistive you know, material that we use that that, that actually balances out from front to back of the phase guide of, of how it, it sounds and we can create this vertical pattern. And it's asymmetrical, of course, so we're going from the edge of the room firing into the center of the room. So again, you're seeing the 90s, two horizontal coverage patterns, we said 90s and 180s, each with the same 75 degree asymmetrical dispersion, for it's vertical, of course. I'm trying not to read, it, read the slides to you, but again, so it delivers room filling coverage with best in class audio quality and aesthetics. Only from Bose. And so again, so there, everything comes in the box that is needed. Um, they, the, the general version is, is the black speaker with the white uh, 
magnetic grill cover. You can order a black magnetic grill cover if you so desire. So that's an accessory that doesn't come with. Just a couple use examples. So uh, again, so background and foreground music, retail shops, hotels, shopping malls, restaurants, bars, health clubs, boardrooms, premium conference rooms. This may not be the huddle space. Because of, because of budget, it may not be a huddle space speaker, but if it's a premium huddle space and you only need one speaker, it, it might do a great job. You know, it, it just kind of depends. You're, you're, you know, your engineers will certainly figure that out. Um, but again, it's premium, you know, premium sound for spaces with high visual design and architectural requirements. And you can see there's, there are three in a conference room. This is kind of a hospitality space. That looks like a hospitality space as well. That could be retail, but it reminds me of hospitality since it's, it looks kind of staged. We've got some, 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 uh, some suitcases there. There's a hospitality lounge area where you can see that, again, you couldn't put anything in the middle, but we can cover that, that whole space by putting them around the edge of the room. Just a couple quick you know, coverage plots from above. So 30 by 30 room, I can cover that in a premium fashion by putting a 90 in each corner. 90 degree module. So premium coverage by a 30 by 60, let's double that room. So I could do 90s uh, on, in the corners and add two 180s in the middle and create a premium coverage for that space as well. 30 by 60, that's a pretty good size space for six loudspeakers. That's premium though. So if the budget doesn't, doesn't go there, we could do, here's the 30 by 30 standard coverage. I could do two 180s, maybe on either side of the credenza. And let's look at a uh, standard coverage for the 30 by 60. I could do four 180s and not do any corner loading like so. So again, pretty simple to design with. You can kind of see there's an example as well that we saw before. Um, and here's a premium coverage for a, uh, for a smaller conference room that we just saw, 180, a, a 180 above the, the actual screen and a couple 180s on either side of the table as well. Um, and that's what we recommend, you know, and we'll work with your designers um, to do that. It is in Modeler. Um, that's our predictive analysis software that we use and our, our dealers use it as well. So Edgemax in-ceiling premium loudspeaker is the newest innovation in loudspeaker technology from Bose Professional. It's a new category of loudspeaker. We are very excited about it. And uh, I would love to answer any questions for you if you have any. Thank you.